YouTube, we're back. My name is Becca and this is Shadow. Hi, baby. She's getting her marshmallow, mini marshmallow treats. <laughs> oh, and now my hand's all slimy. Um, today is Tuesday, October 6th. Um, and this is floss tube number 80. And you have reached Sambri Stitches here on floss tube. And you can find me on Instagram as well. Um, I'm recording a day early because I will be heading down to my sister's um, to hang out with her and then meet up with some awesome friends at Acorns and Threads on Thursday. So you all will be seeing this tomorrow on my normal um, update day. Um, I want to welcome um, everybody. I have many, many new subscribers. So thank you all so much for giving my channel a chance. Um, I am shocked at the amount of subscribers I've received um, within the last few days. I think I'm two away from 3,000, which is <laughs> amazing. I never thought in a million years that I would have 3,000 people um, subscribing to me and watching my videos. So, so thank you. Um, and if you're just finding me, this is a channel about cross stitch um, and a couple other little crafts. I have some uh, red garlands to show you today as well and welcome back to my returning subscribers you all are absolutely amazing i love each and every one of you you're so supportive and i just love all the comments and the messages that i receive from everybody so thank you um i hope everybody has been had an amazing couple of weeks i actually finally had a great couple of weeks um no emergencies no stress it's been a good couple of weeks, so hopefully it's been the same for you. I'm going to do a little bit of a recap. Um, so I'm going to look at my notes so I make sure that I don't forget anything. Uh, my youngest daughter, Bree, um, if you've been watching uh, my channel, has known that she's been having some issues. She had an OT appointment um, within the past couple of weeks, and um, they, they found nothing on the MRI, and the OT was shocked. So now we're thinking it could possibly be gout or severe nerve damage. Uh, gout came up because of her severe kidney infection. Um, maybe the uric acid levels um, are, were just too high. Who knows? So it's a waiting game. We're waiting to see if we can get to a hand specialist and, and go from there. So. so thank you all for the prayers and the well wishes, though it really, really does mean a lot to us. So, um, so thank you for that. Um, we had our in-person stitchy meetup this past Monday, or not this last one, but the Monday before that, I don't remember dates, um, but it was so much fun. We met at the waterfront, um, in Silverdale and the fun part was Aaron to Martini Stitcher and Robin, Lady Robins, drove down from the Seattle area to hang out and stitch. So we had like a little picnic. Um, we wore our masks, we took a couple selfies with mask and without mask, and I'll enter those pictures here. And um, Cece from Geeky Girls Knit and Cross Stitch also joined us. And uh, my friend Laurel, who um, isn't really too active on social media, um, but she's part of the Stitchy group, but she left before we took the selfies at the end. So we had a small group, but it was so nice to just hang out with my friends and um, you know, get to chat with them and stitch with them. So that was a lot of fun. And then I hosted the Wednesday Zoom meetup last week as well. And I think that has been the best Zoom meetup since I started hosting them. We all laughed so much that we cried. Um, and if you ever want a reenactment of a funny story the second time around, <laughs> ask my friend Gina. <laughs> um, I'm not going to go into the details or anything like that because it's somebody else's private story that they shared with us. Um, but we just had the best time and now we have an inside joke to go along with it. And hopefully you don't hear the lawnmower that just kicked in and the kids screaming. But if you've been watching me for any length of time, you know that my neighborhood is loud and noisy and crazy and we are just going to embrace it. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that Zoom meetup was a lot of fun. And I will just say that raccoons may quickly become uh, some of my favorite animals. We'll just say that. Um, I just love the ladies so much. They're just a lot of fun. 
And as I mentioned, I will be driving down to Portland and I get to see some stitchy friends and see Janine and the ladies at Acorns on Thursday. Um, I wanna wish a happy birthday to Anna Stitch Rody, um, and Quilt Rodies. Um, her birthday is tomorrow on Wednesday and we'll be celebrating on the Thursday um, when we all get together and meet up for lunch. So I'm super excited for that. So if you haven't had a chance, go wish her a happy birthday. She is an absolutely amazing, amazing friend and I love her so much. So hopefully you have a great birthday, Anna. All right, um, I'll also be celebrating my niece's belated birthday as well tomorrow. Um, so I'll be bringing her a gift and then my sister's birthday is also in October. It's a crazy, crazy birthday month. So that'll be fun as well. Um, thank you to everybody who has sent me some stitchy kindness uh, via the buy me a coffee link. I appreciate you all so much. It's just nice every so often to get a little message that somebody sent me a stitchy kindness and they left a little uh, kind comment and it was well. So, so thank you to those of you who have done that. Really appreciate it. Um, if you'd like to, the link is down below. There's no pressure. Um, a couple of videos ago, I explained why I decided to go this route and turn the ads off. So if you'd like to check that out, I believe it was two videos ago. Um, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. And, oh, interviews with a floss tuber. Um, a really awesome one just went up this past Sunday. You may know them, Brenda and Laura from Brenda and the Serial Starter. I think that's where the majority of the new subscribers have come from. Um, although I did intentionally post it on the week that they were not doing their floss tube, um, videos so that everybody could get an extra dose of their amazing, amazing friendship and just stitchy wowness. Um, and a lot of people are, enjoyed it. They loved having an extra dose of Brenda and Laura on their weekend off. So um, I usually reply to all the comments, but let me just say that there is an insane amount of comments on that video. And I have read all of the ones that I have hearted, but I have not had a chance to reply to them all and I'm not sure that I will on that one. Um, but just know that I'm reading them and I'm so glad that you're enjoying the interviews because they're a lot of fun and I don't have any plans of ending that series anytime soon because there's so many floss tubers that I would love to chat with. So I'm going to keep it going as long as people say are still saying yes. Um, so here's hoping. All right. One more little housekeeping thing. Halloween is my one year floss tube anniversary. So I took an unpaid day off and I am thinking of doing a YouTube live, which I'm super, super nervous about. Um, I'm not sure of the time yet. I'll put it in the announcements. I'll put it on my Instagram or the announcement page of my channel. Um, but what I'm thinking is I'm not going to do a regular weekly update in two weeks. I'll do my fall and Halloween decor tour then um, and possibly my 3000 subscriber giveaway since I'm two away from hitting that um, in my bi-weekly update in a couple of weeks. And then I'll just do like a regular floss tube live on Halloween. Um, and show you like my whip updates and all that kind of stuff and answer questions and chat with y'all. So let me know what you think about that. Um, if you're not interested in the live, maybe I will just um, host a Zoom or, or something. I don't know, I haven't figured it out yet, but I wanna do something for my one year. And since it's on Halloween, that'd be kind of a lot of fun to have like a little get together. I'm, just, I, I'm leaning more towards the, the YouTube live. So that way we can like interact. I think it'll be fun. Um, all right, let's get on to stitchy stuff now that I'm almost 10 minutes into the video. <laughs> Hopefully I haven't lost anybody yet. Um, I want to start off with, I have two red garlands that I have made um, in the past two weeks. One of them I listed on my personal Facebook page and it for sale and it was swooped up by the amazing Marlene. Um, she is stitching by the lake 
and um, I sent her an extra little gift too because she was just celebrating her birthday and I just got a message that she received it. Um, so I'm going to enter a picture of what it looked like here and um, I have another one too. That was a Halloween one and so was this one. This one I just finished this morning and I'll enter, uh, I'll post a picture of what the fabric looks like. Um, but these are perfect for like the uh, fireplaces were and I think I might keep this one Because I like it So I finished that these take like five to six hours to make um, From you know cutting the fabric down to size and then tying them all on so it's a lot of fun, but I love it Could be like a scarf Fashion statement maybe Hmm. Anyways, so I made that <clears throat> and then you guys, I made my first biscornu. I'm so, so proud of this. All right, there's that. These glow in the dark, the schools glow in the dark. And then here's the bottom. And I just stuck little buttons that I got from Joann's. They have a spider pack. This is a clouds factory pattern. Um, and I'll post the link down below that I got off Etsy. And then I found this little pin on Etsy. It's like a little school pin. These are so much easier to make than they look. They look very overwhelming and very scary. Um, but the tutorial that Tiny Modernist made is absolutely amazing. I just love it. I'm so proud of it. And I'm working on another one that I'll show you in my whips. What is that? It's like a little chipmunk. This next one is my all time favorite. I think that I've ever finished and I'm super proud of it. So this wooden box actually had a potions thing um, on it. This is from Target. That um, so this is from Witchy Woman Apothecary from Foxwood Crossings, I believe, but I just stitched up bits and pieces. And then I got a little, uh, tiny Ouija board set from eBay and, um, used a lot of the little pieces. Like there's a little potion bottle and like this came from it. These little pieces came from it. This we this voodoo doll came from Michael's. I didn't make it. It looks cool though. Um, and then I stitched this myself. I just designed that cure myself. The potion bottles and the wooden piece also came from Michael's. And these are all just mounted on sticky board. This piece and this piece. And I absolutely love this so much. I love it, love it. Just love it. So it's my favorite. All right, let's get into some whips. I felt like I hadn't stitched a whole lot, but I guess I have. Um, the first whip is going to be my Huckleberry Farm. This is, I love this one so much. This is on 18 count pansy from Picture This Plus, and I'm stitching one thread. So there it is. And everybody thinks that that is a sloth, but I thought it was a bear to go along with a bear theme, but I'm not sure now. But I love it. Look how pretty it is. I love it. So that's really what I focused on. I gave that a good couple of days of, of work. Um, I'm gonna lean it back here. And then the next one is kind of the bane of my existence. Um, this is the Biscornu I'm working on. I had to rip out like this whole half of the web because I was off when I got to the very bottom. So this is on 14 count spiders with gold flecks from Fabric Flare. And the bottom is going to be this fabric. It's also Fabric Flare. And this is going to be a Biscornu. Um, I'll link this. I don't remember the name. It was just a random Etsy shop that I found it from. That chipmunk is really angry. I'm pretty sure that's a chipmunk, but I don't see it. 
but it is really mad. Um, I also had a new start and this new start was, I think on the 25th is when I started it. And you would have thought that I would have, oh, there it is. This was my new start, Christmas garden from Blackbird Designs. And I am using my own um, color choices on this. This is, this is my color palette that I'm using and I love it. And I have a really beautiful thread keep as well. Cause you know, Brenda and Laura say that we need them and we do need them. This is done on 18 count winter white from Seraphim Fabrics. And that is my start on it. I love it so much. It's so pretty, but it probably won't get touched again until probably November time frame. I would think. Um, so we'll see. So there's that. The next one is my Halloween Ouija from Tiny Modernist. And this is hashtag Ouija Sal. All the pieces falling out of it. Um, and this is where I've gotten to. And this is on 18 count Wicked from Be Stitch Me. And I'm using two strands on this. And this pumpkin that I'm working on, it's glow in the dark. Um, I have to rip out because he's off. But I did not do glow in the dark for down here. I just did regular. But it's funny because I was stitching this during our Zoom meetup. And they call for... Uh, what is it? Whitewash. Weeks Dye Work Whitewash. And looking at it, you can't tell. But if you look at it in person, there's like yellow. Um, like yellow streaks in this. And so I was making jokes that it was like pea snow, like shadow went and peed in the snow. Because if you look at it, there's like yellow blotches down in the cemetery. Everybody got a good laugh out of that, but there's no way that I was unpicking that. So that's just going to be the joke every time I look at it now. So. All right. The next one is one of my favorites. This one is the autumn alphabet from willow hill samplings that everybody is stitching but i'm using my own colors on this one let me see if i can put something in the back so you can see there you go that is just gorgeous i love it so much i didn't want to put it down but i put my color choices that i chose um on instagram so love that one my next whip i was just working on this this morning this is the marjorie massey i love this one so much did i tell you yet what this was on i didn't did i this is on 18 count mocha cream from fiona's craft cottage and i'm using one strand um, and I'll have the links down below. I love her fabrics as well. Um, and then this one is actually this one is 18 count mocha cream from Fiona's Craft Cottage. And that's where I'm at. So I just got this part of the flower done and up here done. That's is where I've got. So the other one, let me see what that other one is done on. I think I'm so confused now. Hmm. I will have to put it down below because I don't think that I have the, the tag for it. So I'll link, I'll put it down below in the notes, um, what fabric both of these are, cause I'm really confused. Um, and I wasn't planning on doing this video right now. So I'm kind of flustered cause I'm rushing. Um, so just look below for the information on the whips um, and the fabric information on it. So 
I apologize for that. Usually I have better notes. The last whip that I have been working on is a sow that I'm co-hosting with NBC Stitcher. Um, this is Plum Street Sampler's Autumn Gifts. And our sow is stitch on anything that has an owl because we both love owls. And this is where I'm at. And this is on 18 count Swiss coffee from Color and Cotton. So I got the more of the vine done, I just need to fill it in and I got this big leaf done. This was my project that I brought to work and worked on. So these are um, using one strand with this one. So those are all of my whips. Those are a lot of whips. Um, I wanted to show, I got a finishing piece um, from tractor or from Lowe's actually the tractor supply one I'll enter a picture of it's not a finishing piece but it's one that we could not leave behind my husband and I when we went shopping yesterday um, so there's a picture of that that I picked up and then this is this was from Lowe's on clearance and I just fell in love with it I mean totally could mount a cross stitch piece up here for sure but there's like the rooster up there and the pumpkins and it's just a metal um, farm. So check out Lowe's if you're looking for, you know, a fall, a fall farm decor piece. All right, I had to let Shadow in the house because my husband just got home. Um, the other thing that he, my husband bought me is, so I work on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Every Saturday he goes grocery shopping um, to Costco and to the base commissary but in between those two he comes and takes me to lunch so we have a lunch day every Saturday and I had mentioned that I wanted the matching tote to the purse and wallet that we had bought because it's big enough to carry my cross stitch stuff in so what happened Saturday when I got home this was waiting for me in my stitchy spot I posted this on Instagram but he's just so thoughtful. And of course it's the Pacific Northwest and it's a huge tote. So I'm pretty sure it can fit all the stitchy stuff in there. So I love it. So I had to bring about that. All right, let's get on to some stitchy kindness. I received stitchy kindness from my sweet friend, Tara. She is the 805 stitcher on Etsy. Um, and also on Instagram and also on FlossTube. Um, and I had requested a little while back for her to uh, make me a bag or two. Um, and she got super busy because she, is, she makes amazing bags and she's been helping Lindy Stitches out. Um, so she had all those bags to do. And she surprised me by just sending me the bags as a gift which is absolutely just so sweet and kind. So thank you, Tara. Um, I wanted one that would hold a little bit bigger of a Q-snap. So she made me this one. And this will hold my eight by 11. Is that just not gorgeous? I love it. And of course I'll put a link down below to her shop so you can check it out. Um, and then she also made me a big foot bag. So now I got two big foot bags. I'm so excited. I mean, you can never have enough big foot bags. But she had extra fabric that somebody had her make a custom bag um, and they told her she could keep it. So she made me one. So thank you. I love them. Love them, love them. All right. Are you guys ready for some haul? Because you know me and haul. The first thing that I want to show you are these amazing needle minders that um, I had made. And the cool thing was I sent her a picture and um, her name is Kimberly Smith and I'll post her Facebook group down below. She also dyes fabrics, but look at that. Who does that look like? Hopefully it's coming through because the sun's shining in my face. She made one of shadow and she even got like the gray tufts on her. Is that not awesome? And then um, she also made a baby giraffe which I'm going to give to my daughter, my oldest daughter who stitches. She is obsessed with drafts, hence the draft tattoo on my arm. Um, but look at those. So 
um, I'll post the link down below to her Facebook group. These are just awesome. I'm too scared to even use them. Um, the other thing that I got was I joined the um, Just Another Button Company buttons of the month, I guess, or buttons every couple of months. I don't remember all the details but it's like 1950 for this and there's a ton of buttons in here a ton of fall buttons so um they send you like one special custom one and i think that was the one that they sent and that but i mean there's a bunch of like letters and like different shapes there's a pumpkin and then regular buttons and fall uh, autumnal colors so this is super cool I'm excited to be part of that club I also got some hand dyed by Rolanda um, fabric this is an 18 count I guess she doesn't name them um, but I got this one that might help because there's the Sun it's just like a really pretty neutral um and i'm not going to take these out but this was her 18 count ada halloween pack so there's an orange a black and then a multicolored kind of cool one and then i also snagged i don't know if i'm going to take this out either a huge fat half piece of macchiato from luminous fiber arts an 18 count love it and then color and cottons um you're sorry for the crinkles like i said i wasn't planning on filming this right now and i wasn't fully prepared this is september 2020 fabric of the month prairie dust in 16 count i really wish that they had the option of just an 18 count or a 16 count because they're their um, option is 16 slash 18 and I'm always getting 16. So it's a really pretty brown. 16 is not bad. It's just, I don't really stitch on it that much. I don't know. All right, pattern time. Get a pen and paper ready because it's going to be fun. Most of these are from the stash unloading group. So um, this is Quaker Halloween by Ori TM and apparently it was signed. So that one's really cool. This one is Homespun Holiday, designs by Barbara L. Peterson. Oops. That I really love. That might be a November start. Uh, Paul Revere's Ride by Willow Hill Samplings. Colleen, if you don't have this, you probably need it. From Stitching with the Sisterlies, you need this. I have enabled her <laughs> with the Chessie and Me patterns. So there's one more. Um, this is Stone Street Stitch Works Where Liberty Dwells. And man, when this came in the mail, the envelope was destroyed. And this is just like all crumpled up. And it made me so upset because it wasn't even in plastic. But, oh. Uh, all right, and then more. I couldn't pass up Thankful Owls from Bent Creek because uh, somebody posted it on Instagram and I had to have them. So luckily they were posted in the session loading group. And Needle Bling Designs, Book of Spells to go with my whole witchy woman display. And then another Ori TM, A Wicked Accident. I love this. This is so cute. And then I got Stone Street Stitchworks Schoolhouse Quaker. I love this one. Hopefully the glare is not bad. And I got the Voodoo Man from Ships Manor. That is really cool looking. 
And then the last piece of haul were my two pieces from uh, the Starlight Stitchery for my sows for Tiny Modernist. So that's my haul. Wow, it is getting really loud outside with all of the yard work and people getting home. So um, I need to redraw for the Blackbird Designs book um, that I was doing the giveaway for. I was not contacted by the winner. So I will insert the new winner here. Okay, so we are redrawing for the Blackbird Designs Home for the Holidays book. And right now I've got where it says 53 commenters. All right, and then pick a winner. Here we go. Congratulations, Jean Gallagher. I'm truly hopeful that the holidays bring change and peace. So congratulations, Jean. So congratulations, please just um, reach out to me either via email, which is down below, or you can message me on Instagram or Facebook Messenger, um, but that way I can get it out to you. So, and plans. I'm gonna continue with Falltober. I kind of already talked about plans a little bit. Um, my next update in two weeks will probably be um, just a tour and a 3000 giveaway, and then I'll go live on Halloween. So have questions ready. I'm an open book, so anything you wanna ask, um, go ahead and shoot. And don't forget about the Cynthia Bruce Stitching in the Light, The Great Pumpkin Sal. I'll link down below again to her video. Um, I will be donating a reg wreath um, to the, um, the giveaways that she's doing for the donations. So make sure you go check out that video and use the hashtag and, and join us in helping to raise money for a great cause. Um, and other than that, I think that's it. I'm sorry if I rushed through this video. Um, I have something that I need to do tonight. And um, so I kind of squished this in, but I didn't want to skip a video. Um, I want to wish you guys all a great two weeks. I love each and every one of you. I love your comments, your support, everything. Uh, I just appreciate it. So um, until I see y'all again in a couple of weeks, Happy stitching, everybody.